Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to be filming my best of 2015, my 2015 beauty favorites. I cannot even believe that 2015 is over already. 2015 was an awesome year for me. I graduated from college, I started grad school, my channel grew a lot. It was just a really, really great year for me. So thank you guys so, so much for your constant support. It truly means the world to me. And thank you for helping me grow my channel and telling your friends and family about me. It honestly just means the world to me. So thank you guys so much. And I hope that you guys had an awesome 2015 and an even better 2015. 16 but yeah without further ado I'll stop rambling let's just go ahead and get on into the favorites so most of these favorites are my trusted and true my products that I have used all throughout the year so most of them you guys have probably seen me use in quite a few of my videos but first we'll start with face products so I have three foundations that made the list this year I was gonna try and narrow it down like just one of each product but I just couldn't I had to mention all three I've done full reviews on my channel of all three of these foundations so I will link them down below if you want more of an explanation on why I like them and how they work but the first one is the makeup forever ultra HD foundation I love this foundation this was new this year and it is amazing it was the new like new because it was reformulated they had the old one before this year but I really like the newly formulated one this is a great foundation it comes in a billion shades and like I said I have a full review on it so I will link that down below if you want to know more but this was definitely a favorite of mine in 2015 my next favorite was the Laura Mercier silk cream oil free photo edition foundation again a reformulated foundation I guess I liked a lot of reformulations this year um, but the Laura Mercier they had a silk cream foundation for a really long time that a lot of people loved they reformulated it this year I never tried the original but this one is bomb I really really like it I'm in the color sand beige in case you're interested um, it's just an amazing foundation it's very hydrating for my dry dry skin which I definitely need but it also is matte and doesn't look like super dewy or anything like that because I'm not really normally into foundations like that even though I have dry skin but I absolutely love this again full review will be linked down below and then the last foundation that was a absolute favorite of mine in 2015 is a new foundation for 2015 it was not a reformulation but that is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I love this foundation it's amazing it just gives the exact right amount of coverage without being overboard while looking very natural on my skin. If you guys can kind of see a pattern through the foundations that I showed, they're kind of foundations that are somewhat full coverage but still look super natural and like undetectable on the skin because I used to be just like the girl that slathered a mask of foundation but now I've been more into the more like undetectable foundations that still make your skin look super super flawless and this is definitely one of those I love the Too Faced Born This Way it's amazing and also again very hydrating for my dry skin so that is really important to me love 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 this my next favorite is a skincare favorite and I actually have quite a few skincare favorites in here as well because I've gotten a lot more into skincare this year and this product I actually don't think I've talked about on my channel in like two years or so. I talked about it originally like two years ago and I absolutely love it. I use it all the time and that is my Michael Todd Sonaclear. This is the first ever antimicrobial sonic cleansing system and I love this little brush. Like seriously when I want to get all of my makeup and all that gunk off of my face I always go in with this guy I don't use him every single night but I use him probably like two to three times per week or so just to really cleanse my skin and know that I got everything off of my skin it does an amazing job and it just has a little brush head like this you guys probably think it looks like the Clarisonic but honestly I like this a lot better this brush head doesn't actually spin like a lot of those spin brushes and stuff do it actually oscillates back and forth I believe 300 times per second like a little crazy um, but yeah this oscillates back and forth and you just work it all around your face and really it gets everything off like I will cleanse my skin first like I normally do my skin looks clean like I've already used a makeup wipe I've already cleansed it and then I'll put a little extra cleanser on this and go in with it like I said two to three times per week and then this will be filled with makeup I'm like oh my god like I don't ever actually really cleanse my skin that good because this little guy is picking up all of this extra stuff. So I'll put a link to it in the bottom bar and a coupon code as well in case you guys are interested. It's not an affiliate code or anything like that, just a code for you guys to save some money if you are interested in it. And look how cute it is too. Like I love this pattern. I just think it's adorable. It just sits in its little charger on my vanity and it's so, so cute. So I love this and definitely has been a favorite of mine this year. Up next, we have two primers. The first one is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. The 
smoothing one. They made a million of their step one skin equalizers, but the smoothing one is by far my favorite. You guys have seen me use this in like five bajillion tutorials, but it's kind of like the Benefit Porefessional. It's just supposed to go in and fill in your pores and any fine lines, and it does an amazing job at that, so I really, really like this and would highly recommend it. I've used it pretty much like every day of 2015 since I got it. And my next primer that I really loved, again, I've used so many times, is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. You guys know my skin is dry. I need something that's gonna give me some glow, and this is what this product does. I love it. I love applying this beneath my foundation, and also mixing in a little bit of this with my foundation as well. Not only does it make your skin look radiant and glowing, but it also does help the foundation to stay on as well. So I really, really love that about it, and this was definitely a favorite. My next favorite is this Banish Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. I recently discovered discovered this company, Banish, this year. All of their products are all natural and cruelty-free, which I love because it's really great for my sensitive skin. I have not had a problem with any of their products, so I do highly recommend them. I'll put a link to their website in the bottom bar, but I love this pumpkin enzyme mask from them. It smells so good. It smells just like pumpkin, so to me, and it even looks like pumpkin. Like There's definitely like actual pumpkin in this because it smells just like pumpkin, like pumpkin pie. Um, so if you don't like the smell of pumpkin, you might not love this mask, but if you do like pumpkin, this is the mask for you because not only does it smell awesome, but it makes my skin look so beautiful after I use it. Like literally my skin just looks so fresh and rejuvenated. If you guys are part of my Snapchat fam, you've definitely probably seen me wearing this mask in some of my snaps. I always snap whenever I have masks on because I think I would just look crazy. Um, but yeah, it's like a bright orange mask but it just makes my skin look so fresh and like youthful. Like not that I'm like old or anything, but like it's just like new skin and my skin just looks glowing. I normally leave this on for like two to three minutes. Like I don't really leave it on for that long. Um, I don't know how long you're even supposed to lay it on. Let's see. It just says paint thin layer, let dry, wash off. So it dries pretty quick. Sometimes I'll leave it on for a little bit longer, um, you know, if I'm doing something or whatever. But I really, really like this and definitely have seen a change in my skin since using this. So I would highly recommend it. And then another product actually from the same company that I really, really like is their Peppermint Walnut Scrub. This will get off any dry skin that you have. Like seriously, it really, really will. I have such dry skin, so I need like a really great scrub, but also something that's not going to irritate my skin because even though I have dry skin, I have sensitive skin. So it's kind of hard to find a scrub that really works well for me because a lot of scrubs will irritate my sensitive skin, but this one does not. And this again is their Peppermint Walnut Scrub. Amazing. This, what this is, it's kind of interesting. Like when you see, it's kind of like a solid inside of there and they're just like little gritty, like it almost looks like solid like sand or something. You just kind of scoop a little bit out and mix it with some water and then apply it to your face or your skin. But it works really, really well. Again, gets rid of all that dry skin, all that flakiness. So especially in the colder months, this is a definite must. For me at least, I need to just get rid of all that dry skin. So I love using this. And again, it does not irritate my skin, which many scrubs do. So it's definitely been a long haul, like trying to find a scrub that actually agrees with my skin and also like actually works. And this one definitely does. So I would highly recommend it. Like I said, I'll put a link down below to Banish if you guys are interested. It's a really, really great company. They have a lot of products. So I do highly recommend it. These two though are my favorite products from them. Up next, I have my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. You guys know I love the Beauty Blender. I've used the Beauty Blender for years and if you would have told me last year that I would have found a sponge that I liked just as much as the Beauty Blender this year I would have told you that you were crazy but this sponge is amazing I highly highly recommend it to you guys I don't like it better than the Beauty Blender but I don't like it any less I think really it's like the same thing as the Beauty Blender I like them equally but this one is way less expensive which is why I'm featuring it in this I still love the Beauty Blender I still use it because I do already own it but if you don't have a Beauty Blender go out and get this one because pretty much the same thing and this one is just as amazing so love 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 it my favorite way to apply both my foundation and my concealer it's amazing it's like six dollars sometimes you can even get it cheaper and get like a dual pack of them depending on where you go but it's really really amazing and it's definitely been a favorite of mine in 2015. I also have two concealers I guess we were doing everything in like groups of two this year but the first one is my MAC Pro Longwear no surprise to any of you guys I love this for underneath the eyes it's amazing I don't think I'll ever find anything that can truly truly replace it but a new concealer that I did find this year that I like as well although not as much but I still really like it is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I first tried this I didn't really like it and then I kept kind of trying it and then I realized that I actually did like it and I just wasn't applying it right the first time but 
What I love about this is that it does come with an applicator, which is a lot easier than the MAC Pro Longwear, which you have to kind of squeeze out on your finger, and it's just messy. So I like using this when I'm in a rush, but it does really do a nice job of highlighting, highlighting, can't even speak, highlighting and brightening the skin, and um, it also does moisturize your under eye as well, because I have a lot of problems with the drugstore concealers, like really drying out my under eye area. They just like don't moisturize them at all and they dry them out like crazy where this one does not do that so I do really really like this. This is apparently a dupe for the NARS creamy concealer whatever it's called. Um, I've never even tried that one because I like this one so much but apparently it is a dupe for that and it's definitely been a favorite of mine in 2015. Then I have a tinted moisturizer that I have loved this year. You guys don't see me wear this that much on my channel because whenever I'm on my channel I'm doing like full out full glam makeup looks but on the daily I'm always wearing this. This is the IT Cosmetics CC Plus cream. This is in the shade medium. I absolutely love this. It has SPF 55 in it, right? Or SPF 50, but still super high SPF in it. So great for every single day. And it just is super easy, super moisturizing to pop on my face when I have like, you know, nothing to do besides like errands in the gym and school and stuff like that. Like this is always what I go to. Like I said, you guys don't really see me wearing it on my channel because I'm always doing like full out like glam look. So I'm not going for like a CC cream or BB cream, but on the daily, I probably worn this product the most out of any of these products because I wear it pretty much every single day on my skin when I'm not filming or taking pictures or whatever it might be so absolutely love this it's a really really great CC cream and although it's like a CC cream because I feel like when people think like CC and BB creams they don't think that they're very full coverage this is the most full coverage one I have ever found it's definitely like full coverage while still being moisturizing and everything else so I would highly recommend it then I have two brow products that were my favorites first one Anastasia brow Wiz in the color taupe you guys have seen me use this a billion and one times I absolutely love it it is by far the best brow pencil on the market in my opinion and then a setting product I guess for the brows although you could also just use this to fill in your brows is the benefits give me brow I have it in the shade light to medium I also have a medium to dark one but I use a light to medium one more often it's just a tiny little brush and it's a tinted brow gel that I use to set my brows or if I'm being lazy I'll just run this through my brows and not even worry about using the brow whiz um, but these two together have been bomb and definitely have made me had some pretty good eyebrows in 2015. Two more skincare products from 2015 are from Murad or Murad, whatever you want to call it. I feel like I always say it differently and I don't know the exact way to pronounce it but I love their skincare products and one is this cleanser. I'm sorry it's like literally disgusting. I don't even want to show you guys because I literally use it every day so you can tell um, but yeah it's all dirty but this is the Murad, I think Murad, that's how you say it. The Murad Time Release Acne Cleanser. I love this. I use it every single day morning and night to cleanse my skin and it is absolutely amazing so definitely a favorite of mine and I also love their hydrodynamic ultra moisture for eyes as my eye cream I put it underneath my eyes here and also right up here like beneath my brow bone and this is amazing for keeping my under eyes super moisturized because you guys know I have very dry skin but the most driest part of like my face and my entire body is my under eyes I don't know why they get so dry but they do and this has really really helped to alleviate that so this is an amazing amazing eye cream I highly highly recommend it to you guys so it's definitely a favorite of mine this year another favorite favorite of mine is Benefits Hula Bronzer. For years, I did not try this product because I didn't think that it looked dark enough for me. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I just always thought that this was going to be too light. It wasn't going to work for me. And finally this year, I gave in and I gave into the hype and I tried it and this is an amazing product. I use this to contour pretty much every day. Whenever I'm contouring, this is what I go for. It's just so beautiful and so natural. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It just perfect, perfect shade, especially for me. Specifically, it's just amazing and super easy to blend out as well. So if it is a little too dark for you, very easy to blend out. I just absolutely love this and I'm very glad that I gave into the hype and tried it this year because it's definitely a staple product of mine that I've used so many times this year. I have two other powder face products this year. The next one is the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the Banana Shade. You guys know I love the Anastasia Banana Powder, but honestly, this NYX one is just as good. So save your money, go to Ulta, pick this up. It is amazing. I absolutely love this for setting my under eye area and also highlighting my face. It's just a beautiful powder. It's very like fine too. It's not chunky, which I find a lot of powders from the drugstore can be. It's very finely milled, very easy to just apply to the under eye. The yellow is like not too yellow and it is very brightening because sometimes like yellow powders are too yellow for me and then they just look yellow on my skin. But this one is just light enough. I love it. I've used it so many times in tutorials. It is absolutely amazing. And then the other powder product you guys again can probably guess because I've used it five million times but that is the I was going to say benefit, but the bomb, Mary Luminizer. I love this. Definitely my favorite highlighter for 2015. It's just so, 
so beautiful. I've used it in pretty much every tutorial. Sometimes I, I like grab for it in a tutorial and I'm like, no, like I have to use something else today because I can't just always use the same highlighter, even though this one is definitely my favorite. It's just so, so beautiful. It adds such a beautiful glow without being like overboard, although you're still pretty glowy because you, your girl likes to see her highlight. Um, but I absolutely love it. It's so, so beautiful and it's very neutral as well. It doesn't really have like any overwhelming undertones to it, so it can really go with any eye or lip. I have two mascara favorites. Again, you guys have seen me use these so many times with the first one is the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Mascara. I love, love, love this. This really does a great job at defining the lashes and lengthening the lashes. So I love this for that. And then the mascara that I love the most for volumizing my lashes is the L'Oreal. I think this is also L'Oreal. I don't know. I think this is also L'Oreal. Yes, it is. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Rock Mascara. So I use this one to define and lengthen, and then I use this one to volumize. So these two together are amazing. My favorite lip liner of 2015, again, should be no surprise, but that is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the color Nude. This is just the perfect nude color. I've used it, again, five million times in my tutorials, but if I'm ever wearing a nude lip, this is the liner that I'm wearing because it is amazing. I've probably bought like 10 of these in 2015. I'm not even kidding. And I don't even think I discovered this to like midway through 2015, but I use them like crazy. It's just the most perfect nude. It's a true nude. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. It's just neutral nude and goes with pretty much any nude lip. So I absolutely love it and use it all the time. I have two lippy favorites for 2015. This was really hard to narrow down because I love lip products. I have so many of them, so it was very hard to narrow it down to just two, but the first one is a liquid lipstick, and then I also picked a lip gloss. So the liquid lipstick that is my favorite this year is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in the color Sao Paulo. This is just the most beautiful nude color. Again, a neutral nude. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. It's just perfect. So I love this. I've worn this so many times. It is just super easy to apply. Very, very pigmented. It is matte, but it doesn't dry out your lips at all. It's just super, super beautiful. I've used this countless times in 2015, so I definitely had to mention it. And then my other lippy favorite is a lip gloss. And I didn't want to do another nude because that's just boring. And I wanted to pick something bold. And this truly has been my favorite this year. This is the Urban Decay ultra high color lip gloss in the color Apocalypse. I love this. This is so, so beautiful. It's very, very vampy. I use this in a tutorial. I use this in a couple tutorials actually, but what I like to use this best is I wear like a red lipstick and I put this on top of it and it just kind of tones it down, makes it a little more plumish and vampy and I just love it. It's amazing for the, you know, fall and winter time, but I mean, I would wear this in the summer as well. It's just super, super beautiful, super, super shiny. An amazing product. I absolutely love it. And my last favorite for 2015, but certainly not the least, are these Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I have two full Z palettes of them that I created, but you guys, like, I get some comments sometimes, it's like, oh my god, you always use so many Makeup Geek eyeshadows, but honestly, their eyeshadows are so amazing, you guys. Like, if you have never tried them, you need to try them. Like, this is not sponsored by Makeup Geek or anything like that. I just truly think their shadows are crazy. Like, I don't know how they get them to be so inexpensive while also be so pigmented and long-lasting. And they have so many colors. I just, I mean, I can't rave about them enough. I use them in so many tutorials. So you guys have seen me. But this is a full um, C palette that I created of some of their newer colors that I wanted. And then this is, like, an old school one that I've had for a really long time of some of like their staples that I love, but I absolutely love their eyeshadows. I've used them in so many tutorials that you guys have seen, but honestly, they are the most pigmented, long lasting, with the biggest color range for the price that I have ever found. Like I just absolutely love their shadows. I like a lot of Makeup Geeks products actually, like more than just their eyeshadows, but the eyeshadows definitely steal the cake for me. I just absolutely love them. And you can get Z palettes right off their website as well, and then you can just pop their shadows in there. Super, super easy, so love 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 them definitely a favorite of mine in 2015 so yeah, that is it. Those are all of my favorites for 2015. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and you had a very happy new year. I cannot wait to see where 2016 brings us. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.